Good day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today's video is over flight deck displays of digital weather and aeronautical information. In today's video, we will go in depth on ADSB including TISB and FISB capabilities. Information for this video was gathered from FAR Part 91 and the AIM Chapter 4 Section 5. According to FAR 91-225, all aircraft will require at least an ADSB out transmitter before 2020 to operate anywhere above 10,000 feet MSL and below 10,000 feet anywhere within the lateral limits of Charlie and Bravo airspace from the surface to 10,000 feet MSL pretty similar to a transponder. Additionally, ADSB will be required anywhere within 30 nautical miles of the airports listed in FAR Part 91, Appendix Delta, Part 1, which includes some military airfields and Class Bravo airports. ADSB, or Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, shifts the world of aviation from ground-based radar surveillance to precise tracking using satellite signals. ADSB out is a function of an aircraft's onboard avionics that periodically broadcasts the aircraft's 3D position, direction, and speed. ADSB in describes an aircraft's capability to depict the position and velocity of other traffic within one's aircraft via cockpit display or even electronic flight bag. ADSB in will not be required in 2020. With ADSB in, pilots can essentially, for the first time ever, see in their cockpit what air traffic controllers see on their displays. Depiction of other aircraft in the sky through TISB, pinpointed hazardous weather through FISB, terrain hazards, and other important flight information, such as temporary flight restrictions. TISB, or Traffic Information Service Broadcast, is available to aircraft equipped with an ADSB in receiver and an approved cockpit display of traffic information. TISB, as mentioned earlier, depicts other aircraft in flight, aiding in collision avoidance. TISB should never be used as the primary means of collision avoidance. See and avoid techniques should always be used. It is possible for pilots to receive a temporary TISB target of themselves, especially while maneuvering. This can be pretty butt-puckering. However, the target should disappear momentarily if it is actually a false target. Flight information services provide meteorological information and aeronautical information to enhance decision-making and safety through awareness of weather and or airspace constraints. FISB, or Flight Information Services Broadcast, is available to ADSB-equipped aircraft via the Universal Access Transceiver Network and enables users of properly equipped aircraft to access the meteorological and aeronautical information provided via Flight Information Services while in flight. FISB also augments communication with flight service stations, flight following facilities, and other ATC facilities. In terms of meteorological information, FISB may provide the pilot with graphical and textual weather products such as AirMet and SIGMET information, METARs and AWOS updated each minute and provided in METAR format. It may even provide a grid indicating the altitude of cloud tops to an accuracy of 3,000 feet and another that depicts icing conditions and the presence or absence of supercooled water droplets within an area. The FAA states that the meteorological information obtained from FISB should be viewed as advisory only and should never be used as the primary weather information for planning purposes. There are both FAA and non-FAA providers of flight information services. Pilots planning to use non-FAA flight information services should determine whether or not the weather information provided has been directly sourced from the National Weather Service before using it, as the information may have been altered by the provider. This concludes today's video over flight deck displays of digital weather and aeronautical information. I hope this video has cleared up any confusion about ADSB and its capabilities. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that the video has been helpful. If you learned something, I hope that you might like or share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and if you want notifications, make sure to hit the bell to the right of the subscribe button. If you'd like to see anything improve or stay the same, I'd love to hear any suggestions about how these videos could be made better or more helpful to you in the comments section. Thank you for your support, and safe flying!